Hi Pisces, happy Mother's Day. See the Empress right there as a mother. Um, let's see what messages show up for you today, Pisces. What's in your energy, what you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now? Pisces. What does Pisces need to know right now? Pisces. You look absolutely amazing male or female it's mother's day and it is fantastic that the empress is showing up here this is the place where you're supposed to be um today you guys you're supposed to be sitting back relaxing um having your shoes off Let's see what shows up here for you, what the energy is around you. Okay, so the very first card you have is the Queen of Wands. And then you have the Seven of Swords. The next card you have is Judgment. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and you have the Five of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. And you have the Nine of Swords. Just to, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, Pisces, is I feel like someone here is jealous of you. If, if you look up here at your first two cards, Pisces, you have someone here that's struggling, all right? They're climbing a mountain, they're struggling, and they're look, kind of trying to look over the fence or look at where you're at, all right? You're sitting in the energy of the Queen of Wands. So there, there's someone here that's jealous of you. I can see that right off the bat. But judgment is coming in. The universe is showing up here in your energy. Spirits, tell me why um, the Queen of Wands is here. You have justice. You're in the position where you're supposed to be right now, Pisces. You you have some type of justice. Some type. This justice is something that you're destined to have. It's your destiny. It's something that you've worked hard for. The position and the place that you're. You deserve this place that you're in. All right. This Queen of Wands energy. And um. You, you're holding a sunflower here in your hands. There's something here in your energy that's making you happy. And I can't help but notice the lions. Like you have a great deal of strength. You're a good friend. You have the cat here. And your, your energy is strong. But this is your destiny that you've worked hard for. You have the knight of wands. And you've unlocked the vault. And justice was inside of the vault, inside of, if you open this door, your justice was in there. Justice is Libra energy, I think I said that. But you've somehow unlocked and opened this door and walked into your destiny. But there's someone here that's peering over at you and I'm picking up an energy of, of jealousy from whoever this person is 
maybe even a false Santa Claus because I don't know why I got this, but I see this person's boots and I'm thinking Santa Claus. I don't know. Let's let's find out who this is. Tell me why the Seven of Swords is here. The Tower. Something in this person's life has um, caused them to lose it all. I'm not sure what they did, but you can tell with the tower, the the roof has blown off here. They're, they're struggling. It's just like them climbing up this mountain. They're struggling. This may be a female energy. All right, the Queen of Swords is here. So this person uh, is really thinking about you. I'd be... Um, just just be aware of this energy. Tell me why the Queen of Swords is here. The Ten of Cups. I don't know why I'm hearing this beeping sound. This person's jealous of what you have. It's like they they can see over the fence it's like they see you living this happy life with your children with your family and they're not happy they're you know they could even say something to you or they could have said something to you they're showing up here using this this sword and hold on a second. I we're get, we're getting this beeping noise in the background for a reason um, during this reading. Let me see what this is. Alright, sorry about that Pisces. I I shut it off. Um it's this little machine I got. But the next card you have is judgment. Judgment is the universe stepping into your energy, and I honestly do not know if it has anything to do with this person that's showing up here. Tell me why judgment is here. Why are you switching positions? I mean, look at this, look at this energy of this hand coming out of the clouds, coming out of the sky, and it shows up over here too. There's something here that you're not happy with that's not completely fulfilling you in your life, and you're kind of ignoring it. It's a decision that you're making. You know what? You guys actually have a past energy here that's thinking about you a lot right now. And it's separate from this Queen of Swords. There's someone here where the cycle has completely closed out. It's over and done. And it's like as if you're living another life right now. This seems a world away from you. Whatever this, this energy is. But there's someone here that is living some type of karma. But I feel this protection over you. 
if you open up the door you have justice and you have um the synergy of you your work has paid off and you deserve the position in the seat that you sit in and there's a past energy here where the cycle has closed out that's not allowed to enter into this doorway but they're receiving karma they're thinking about you right now let's see what's going to happen tell me why the ten of pentacles is here You have the Eight of Wands, the Star, Aquarius Energy, and you have the Three of Wands. There's something here that you're waiting for, Pisces, and it's a feeling of, of you being, um, feeling like you you've got it all together finally okay with the ten of pentacles where everyone's safe and everyone's together in your life there's happiness here with the ten of pentacles but in order for this to happen it's like you're waiting for some type of energy to show up here and you you have a wish fulfillment coming in um and it involves messages or travel I'm seeing you receiving messages from someone. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. The Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. <coughs> There's someone here in your energy, Pisces, they are showing up as the Queen of Swords. And we all have masculine and feminine in us, but for a lot of you, this is a this is a feminine energy coming through that's trying to show, you know, this masculine side of them. And I'm seeing that you're not having anything to do with it here with the Five of Swords. You're like, just get, get away from me. They believe some type of investment that you made belongs to them. And they're coming in strong here. And again, I'm seeing someone here that's very hurt. They have barbed wire on their heart. So the way they act, um, whatever is coming out of their mouth, however they're coming towards you, they're they're coming towards you you know almost with cruel words cold words and um speaking their mind so be aware of that tell me why the page of cups is here you know, whatever this person says it doesn't really make a lot of sense what they believe it doesn't really make a lot of sense you have the King of Cups and you have Strength here. Strength is Leo energy. There's um, someone here in your energy that you consider family. This may be a husband because I'm kind of picking up um, that for someone watching me, you're married. You have like a, a significant other here that's coming through as very, very strong energy. And this person it's like as if you you're telling them a message here with the page of cups and this person is telling you to hold back everything's okay tell me why strength is here You have the fool Aries energy. Yeah, this person's going to say something like, just let it go. Let this go. 
Let me look at the messages coming through over here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? This is good news. This is a wish fulfillment. There's something here um, that you're going to be celebrating, Pisces, and it's some type of huge financial increase. All of this energy is sitting on top of the Ten of Pentacles. And so um, there's something here that's going to bring a great deal, deal of stability into your life. Um, when I look into the future, to the immediate future, you have the Ace of Wands. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here. The Chariot Cancer Energy. The Five of Cups. And you have the Ace of Swords. I don't know if you guys are even aware of this, but there's some pretty strong karma coming through here. Um, it's like you're getting what you deserve. This Ace of Wands is yours. That castle is yours. Everything inside of that castle is yours. And there's someone here wanting to come towards you that's full of regret and sadness with the Five of Cups. And they're trying to communicate with you, but the Ace of Swords is in reverse. All right, so they, they can't break through. They can't get through to you. This person did something where they screwed up. And their screw up, I need to say whatever they did where they screwed up in their life. Um, they're trying to cast blame on other people around them instead of instead of the simple solution of, oh, I did this, and that's what caused all of this other effect, this ripple effect in my life. They're looking for blame, and they're trying to blame you. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Five of Wands. The King of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles. See, they feel locked out. They feel left out with the Five of Pentacles. And this is someone who's going back and forth in their mind about how, you know, it's, it's like they want to fight. They want to argue with the Five of Wands. <coughs> and it has something to do with um, the material world with the King of Pentacles here. They, and the way they do it, it's like they're playing mind games. Like I said, the things this person is saying to you, it doesn't make any sense at all. It's not adding up. The next card you have is the King of Swords. So you kind of got a, a, the, like this petty energy of someone who's walking around carrying a lot of burdens and they're but whatever burdens this is they're trying to lay it on your shoulders put it on your back why is the two of cups here look at this This is a marriage, a union. This is, this is love. You guys have like this strong loving connection in your energy here. 
Like the promise of whoever this is, they're wanting to be in your life forever. There's someone here that wants to protect you. Through all of this, there's there's definitely an energy here of someone that that looks at you like um like you are their empress here. And this is someone who's going to be here for the long run, Pisces, whoever this is in your energy. You have the Ten of Cups, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, you got everything you want. But yet, there's something here that you're worried about. It feels like a nightmare. What are you so worried about, Pisces? What is this? Why is the Eight of Swords here? You have Judgment and the Six of Cups. And you have the Lovers. Look at this Nine of Swords showing up on the bottom of the deck. Right there. You have a soulmate here in your life, Pisces, that you keep thinking about. This person keeps coming to mind. You keep thinking about them. And um, I'm seeing this person is thinking about you too, Pisces. But I feel like the, the lovers is Gemini energy. I feel like there's a past energy here that's trying to come back into your life again. Outside of, some of you already have someone else here in your life, but there's, yet at the same time, there's someone else that wants to come back. Why is the Nine of Swords here? There's something here about your destiny, Pisces. You've gotten the Wheel of Fortune twice in your energy that you're worried about. And it's some type of success, okay? Something that you're that you're worried about losing. Tell me Tell me what the outcome is of this energy right here. Something where you're really questioning yourself. Do not try to control the wheel of fortune. Just be natural. Because it's, it's like as if you're going, you know, within yourself. This is Virgo energy. But you're going within yourself and you're trying to control, you're trying to move the wheel and it, you're trying to shift it and take control of it. And the reason you're doing this is because you're worried. You're worried about losing it or losing control of what you have. And um, spirits are telling you it's, uh, it's already here. It's already yours. Okay? It's already... the. Whatever it is cannot be taken away from you. It's already sealed. It's already imprinted into the world. Tell me how this turns out. Yeah, see the yes card. The ace of swords. Success. The ace of swords is success. All right. 
but you're going to have a choice between two people here because there's a past energy that keeps trying to um, find their way back into your life again. And this is showing up as someone who's very significant to you, Pisces, in the past. Um, someone where you, you really, really went through a lot of heartbreak not seeing this person, this person being gone they're coming back around again but for a lot of you like i said there's already someone else here with you and your energy it's like as if you've moved on all right pisces um let me see something i want you guys to ask your angels a question out loud Ask your angels a question and choose number one, number two, or number three. Number one, number two, number three. Okay. If you choose number one, compromise. If you chose number two, get more information. Number three, perfect timing. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And have a beautiful Mother's Day. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.